Well, I bet they'll want to keep this quiet. Whoops, let's begin. Okay, this story is from the Daily Express and it says, A judge finds NatWest £264,722,620 plus costs yesterday after it admitted breaching anti-money laundering regulations. The bank has pleaded guilty to three offences between 2012 and 2016 and the judge said it is not suggested that there has been any deliberate flouting of the rules or any criminal intent, which surely only leaves carelessness and stupidity. I mean, either way though, there's certainly no way for a bank to act, is it? I mean, don't they actually carry out any checks anymore? It does make me wonder though, how many people were actually involved in this? And if there was no criminal intent, then why wasn't it picked up sooner and then stopped? The court heard that Julie Fowler Oldfield had deposited 365 million pounds with NatWest over five years, including 264 million pounds in cash some of it brought into the branches in bin bags. Yes, because obviously that doesn't look suspicious, does it? I mean, were they wearing stripy tops as well? I mean, can you imagine it? I'd like to deposit this massive ton of money, please. I mean, what do they want? A giant big massive red arrow pointing saying, there's a dodgy man there. Hopefully they'll learn their lesson from this, especially after their verbal and financial spanking that they've received.